Hello Aquarius and welcome to your November reading. So we're going to tap in, tune in and see what's coming in for you for this month ahead. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to tap in using four decks of cards, the gift of life, the Archangel Power Tarot, the Sacred Destiny Oracle and the Oracle of the Angels. So thank you angels. What do we need to know please for Aquarius in November? What do we need to know? Wow, the cards are just jumping out for you here, so powerful. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Aquarius in November? And what gifts are coming in for Aquarius in November? Thank you, thank you, thank you, and so it is. So the message is the gift of friendship, wow. So it feels like you're going to be building a friendship in November, making friends, new friends, or bringing people back from the past. But you're going to be rekindling things. And it's been hard lately to work on friendships because we haven't been able to meet up with people or do the things that we normally do. But we're learning to adapt and we're learning to build friendships online and to talk more through messenger and to speak clearly our truth. And I feel this is what's coming in. So you have to be very honest with the universe about the kind of friendships that you want to create. Rekindle past friendships and welcome new and empowering relationships into your life. This is the time to rebuild your circle of support. And they're also giving me the number 19. So if anyone left your life around 2019, it's very possible they could creep back in this month. Ask for forgiveness, want to rekindle something with you. This could be a friend or a lover, but I really feel that you're preparing for the future with people that have your back. So you're building your circle right now. You're finding your support system, your community of strength and your soul family. And that's going to give you power and lead you where you're meant to be. The gift of consideration. And to build great relationships, you must have compromise. You must have compassion for people and you must have empathy. And I feel that you've been learning how to be more considerate, not only to others, but also to your own needs. Moderately examine your future with intellectual and emotional clarity. Reconsider your options before taking the next step. So you're reevaluating things because you know you're moving towards a new year and you want to be ready for that. 2021 is going to bring some magical experiences in for us all and you have to remember who you are, your power and know what you want. So as you're moving towards the new year, you're really evaluating everything in your life and working out if you want to take those things, those situations and even those people with you into the new year. So you're going through a review right now and Archangel Jeremiah, the life review angel has got you and he's nudging you in the right direction and he's allowing you to go over things, to bring the past back in if it needs healing, to bring towards you your twin flame if you need to be in union. Everything is going to flow in because you are safe. And that's going to bring in an opportunity. So the angels are saying to you, when an opportunity comes in and the opportunities are going to knock for you this month, then you must be considerate, not only of others, but also of yourself, of your needs and what you want to, because you matter. And your happiness is the most powerful thing of all. And you have the power to create that within yourself. So don't let anyone dull your sparkle or tell you what to do. Follow your own heart, follow your own mind and make your own decisions because that's what you're being guided to do. Widen your eyes to new horizons in your life. Open new doors to welcome the opportunities and the connections you are ready to experience. And they're giving me 20 at the bottom there. So this is a big sign that this year now is going to be a gift of change. So new opportunities are coming in to bring people back from the past, to bring in new opportunities, new friendships and even new love. So there's going to be some magic flowing in for you and the gift of relaxation. So it's also a great month for you to take your time. Maybe you're being guided to slow down. Maybe you're not working right now because of what's going on in the world or you're taking some time out for yourself. But relax about your journey. You are safe. There's plenty of opportunities that are going to flow in for you. 
Relax from all the intensity. Let go of your desire for control and trust the universe and its wisdom to guide you along the right path. So they're giving me fear. Thank you. So release any fears about your future. Release any fears about security or money or your relationships or anything that may put you into the energy of fear and replace that with faith because you're being given the power. And the number 10 there is the number of power. So if you see the numbers 10, 10 this month, it's a sign from the universe to relax, to step out of the way that when you ask for what you want, you have to trust that the universe will bring it to you and all is well. And the Queen of Ariel is about you doing you and just trusting and relaxing, nurturing yourself, breathing, because the circle of support that you've been asking for is on its way. You're finding these like-minded people, people that get you, people that understand you, and people that have your back. And it's very possible that the past will return to be a test to you. Do you want that person around you right now? Do they serve you? Or do you want to close the door? And when I was doing Capricorn's reading, I really felt an energy coming through with an Aquarius. So it could be a Capricorn connection with you. Somebody from the past returning to you. It could be your twin flame. But whatever sign they are, I do feel a return of energy, someone moving back into your life. And Archangel Michael will guide you forward, will show you the way, will be there with you, whatever you decide to do. Just go with the flow. So the angels are reminding you to relax, to breathe and go with the flow. Let things be. Live more in the now and don't worry so much about the future. Just trust that the universe is guiding you, bringing blessings in along the way. And that's beautiful. It's like a yellow canary. So that's also a sign of things moving towards you, things moving forward to you and you moving forward where you want. So blessings are flowing in. It's spring energy too, change and a new beginning and healing any chaos. So when things come in to bring in changes, it can bring with it chaos. And as a human being, we do struggle with that. Our soul craves change because it brings in healing and it brings in growth. But the human part of ourself, even though we are a spiritual being, doesn't much like change because we have to step out of our comfort zone and we have to do things differently than we've always done. And that may make us question things, even question our belief systems and who we are. But any chaos that comes in around you, you can handle it and it's going to move you where you're meant to be. So instead of worrying and being anxious, let go because heaven will guide you where you need to go. And when you let go and you allow it to flow, you'll be shown the way and you'll be guided towards action, the right steps to take, the right things to do. When you follow your passion, purpose comes with that. And you're always being guided to newness and new adventures. So there's adventures flowing in for you, adventures and change. And you may see it to begin with this chaos, bringing in change as chaos, but it's going to lead to more fulfillment and more horizons ahead. So be open to everything. Be open to change, be open to the past returning to you, be open to new friendships because you are a leader and you're being guided forward right now to lead and show the way, to be a beacon of light, to light up the darkness, to illuminate things, to show people the truth. So you're receiving illumination, but I feel this is about you being guided towards the light. So you're going to help others. And that's why new friendships and new connections are coming in, because these people will help you to know your truth, to stand in your power, to know your worth so that you embrace everything and you feel good and you're ready for what's to come, knowing that you are safe. And that will lead you to inner peace. So look for inner peace within you this month. Find the relaxation and the calm energy within yourself and that will lead to purity because you're being cleansed and healed and guided forward that will give you strength. So you're being given all the tools you need to move forward, to bring in a better life. But the real gift for you this month is friendship, new beginnings, fresh starts, sorting things out with the past, preparing for a better future. So magic coming in, you are loved and safe. Have a great month sending you so much love 
and I'll see you soon.